Okay, so now let's um, modify this the way our program that we are able to receive or demodulate our phase modulated signal. So what we need is we need to create on the receiver side our carrier. So we just need to create a cosine wave. So the carrier is um, cosine 2 pi f0 t. And remember in our in our case uh, carrier frequency, we just just leave this paper here and um, bring octave back. So here we've got our program which is still demodulating our AM signal. <coughs> so here we've got the, the rectifier, so we don't don't need the rectifier again. So what we need to do now is we need to create the, the carrier again, the carrier on the demodulator side. So the carrier is just obviously sim simply the cosine 2 pi f and um, and then we just need to create a array which is running obviously as long as our input signal. So that's our phase modulated signal. So it's one bracket, two brackets, three brackets. And, and with that, we have generated our carrier signal. So let's, if I take this here quickly away, so that's, so that's essentially, so now our carrier is generated. So what we need to do, so that's, I think we can just tick this here off. And then next thing is we just need to mix it with the, with our input signal here. So let's do that. So mixing with our input signal, mixer, let's call this mixer. So we take our um, phase modulated signal and we multiply that with our, with our carrier signal. So with that, we should have the, the mix done and um, the low pass filter is still sitting here from our AM signal. So we can directly recycle this and then just send our mixer into the low pass filter. So let's first have a look at our mixer. So let's see. That's still our spectrum here, get rid of that. Um, yeah, and so now we've got our mixed signal here. Now let's have a look if our low pass filter is doing the trick. So the low pass filter, the output is called L LP demod. So this one here. And let's um, check out if we are getting the right the right output. And this load looking already pretty good. Um, let's quickly have a look at the threshold here. Yeah, so so this will probably do the trick. And let's see. So our rec image. Okay. That's the figure. And there's our Pac-Man. Okay, so now we have um, successfully created our face modulation here in Octave slash MATLAB. And um, so we just need to quickly summarize what the phase modulation is about.